generating business momentum is just keeping our fingertips on the pulse of our businesses. That's what it's all about. With the grandfather clock, every week I have to adjust the weights, the three weights that are there, and pull the chain to get them back into sync uh, so that that pendulum keeps swinging and uh, the chime keeps going on the hour, etc. So, what's so great about business momentum? It's really all about being in the zone. You're flying high because of these things. You just know your business is sweet. It's going really well. There's a vibe there. There's some productivity. There's energy. There's a buzz. Your team are fully engaged. Your customers are really happy and satisfied. When you've got business momentum going, um, everything's going sweet, as I said before, but it doesn't take much for a business to get derailed and uh, lose its momentum. Some of the things I just jotted down as to what kills off business momentum are, and they are things that each of us has to be very careful about. Uh, success and pride. You can be so successful it creates a blind spot. You know, you, you just don't get what's happening in your business. There's some hubris there, etc. Um, so get active, but it's the right sort of activity. Secondly, think outside the square and make the tough decisions now. Who's a procrastinator? People like procrastinating, going around in little circles, um, ah, uh, don't know what to do, etc. Okay, there's a bit of a fear factor there and that can limit what we must essentially do and do now. Following some of those simple little steps, not overwhelming you, you know, we're there for the long haul, and just remember to keep that grandfather clock ticking away. Okay, and that's it, and that's me. Do what you think you can. Thank you very much.